Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanna give a big shout out to all the new subscribers and those who have subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and tuning in um, to see what I have going on. I just wanted to come in here and show some more inexpensive baskets that I did create, uh, very similar to the other ones that I showed, but I just wanted to bring them up in view. I had showed you guys how I found that um, hand wash and hand cream. I actually prefer putting this in here versus facial care because you never know. Some people are very particular on what they put on their face, but I thought that this turned out really nicely. I found just this little box. Everything in here came from the Dollar Tree the box. Well, I did get some of the ribbon from uh, Walmart, but that's the red one. And then the green, which I actually love the green. And then just a cute little box. And then I found a pink. The other day I went in the store and I only saw the green and the red and then I saw the pink, but I only found the hand wash. So I ended up putting a dove in there. And then again, same items, same little box. So I thought that these came out really nicely. I showed you guys how I, um found these cups from the Dollar Tree. So I added the red in there with that little bear that I got from Timu. I thought that things came out really nicely and I have two, so I just duplicated and I just feel like it's kind of leaning forward, but at this point, I'm not really gonna worry about it. I think it's in there pretty good, it's not gonna go anywhere. But um, that's that one. And then the other day, I was showing you guys how I had this one. And I wasn't really sure about these house shoes that I got from Timu. But nevertheless, I did go ahead and wrap it up. So I just want to show the final product with it wrapped up. I used cellophane versus uh, shrink wrap. And I made these stickers. I made them on the Cricut. I went to Canva and I just uploaded a little design and then downloaded it and printed it out with the Cricut and some sticker paper. So it was really easy to make those. And then I wanted to show this one. Let's see if you guys can see it. Um, I had some questions on how to, I hope you guys can see the light here. I, I need a better setup, y'all bear with me. But um, I wanted to see how I could wrap this without shrinking the bear. So what I ended up doing was using um, cellophane instead of shrink wrap which I thought was great. It's a little messy as far as, you know, all of that extra and then taping it up, but I don't really mind that. As long as the bear is not squished and looking deformed, you can see everything in there. And I ended up just putting some tool and ribbon here and I taped everything down and used glue dots to keep everything in place. And I thought it came out really nicely. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, about this one I thought that one was nice yeah so um, again just wanted to show what I've been up to um, it ended up being nice today I worked till 5 otherwise I really would have been out there on the streets um, trying to sell some of these products but unfortunately I have to wait and then I have church tonight so I won't be out there but I did make some more slippers. I put pink on them. I'm gonna put them in the, I have a purple pink bag, which once I get uh, that complete, I'll come back and show you guys how I ended up putting them upside down instead of like this, even though I would have liked to put them like this, but I did think it would be better this way. So I don't know how I'm gonna put it in the basket, which way it will look best, but I will definitely pop in to show you guys again these came from the dollar tree um and i just took some silver uh, iron on vinyl and put them on there really quickly and then i did some more mom with the pink but this time again i set them uh the other way versus like that and i put them like this so i thought that came out really nicely i was able to find some more so that's why i went back and got them i think i might get a few more black and put something else on them um they had some gray and i think i ordered a gray pink bag i'm hoping it comes 
tomorrow from Timu. That way I can stamp those as well. Um, I see all you guys creating and everything looks amazing. And I know that you guys are out there doing your thing, selling these baskets. Oh, really quick, I wanted to show this basket. I saw LBE. She did a basket like this and I thought it was so beautiful. So I just wanted to recreate it. Um, it came out really nice. These, all these flowers came from the Dollar Tree except for these. Um, I had some flower arrangements, so I ended up just taking those off and um, adding, adding them to here. And I just put the same little um, facial care that they had a whole set, but it was only one. So I grabbed the whole set and then there's that facial mask. I should have had it the other way, but I didn't. And then that same little lip balm that I found. I put $40 on here. What do you guys think? Do you think it should be more than $40? Um, or is $40 a good price for this? I love it. I think that it came out really, really nicely. And one more that I ended up doing, I'm going to give this to a mother of that I know. And this one came out nice as well. I ended up putting, they had not the whole set, but a few of these. So I put those in here. It's some Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy, the lotion and the shower gel. So again, these flowers came from the Dollar Tree. I was surprised that they look pretty good in here. And I did put that facial mist. I got it right on this one. I turned it to the side. And then I put a poof back there and a little face mask and lip mask. Um... And again, those beautiful butterflies that I found on Timu. Uh, I thought this was really nice. I put some flowers that I found, some stickers, some wall stickers from Dollar Tree. I just put a few on there. Um, so you guys, what do you think? If you were to make one of these and sell them, what would you sell it for? This is a gift for a mother, but I really want to make some more. I love this idea. I don't know if I'll make them for Mother's Day, but you know, we plan to do this throughout the years you know, any occasion to buy a gift basket. But what do you guys think? I, I, I love this idea and I'm so glad that LBE put that out there. Shout out to her for that because I've definitely recreate the idea. I love it. So again, I just appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, I appreciate the comments, um, the likes. I ask that you guys subscribe if you haven't liked this video. And um, hopefully, well, not hopefully, tomorrow, Saturday, I do plan to get out there and be out there all day. Sunday is going to be a little tricky. I don't miss church, so uh, I will be in service. But maybe after service, you have some people that, you know, still want to buy or maybe didn't get a chance to go anywhere. Um, so I might set up somewhere after service. What are you guys doing and how are you doing? And I've seen people even selling in their yard. So very creative. You guys keep up the good work. I'm totally inspired. And I thank you so much for your time today and be blessed.